<clears throat> Call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Doing another quick video on the nukes, all right, the my CBMs, all right. And uh, you know, like I like we always say, you know, every day, every day that goes by, we're getting closer and closer to the end. And uh, in case you forgot about the missiles, you know, that's what we're here for to keep reminding you about the missiles. You know, there's gonna be wars and rumors of wars. And right now, there's not war with North Korea yet. There's not war with Russia yet, at least not directly. All right, and there's still rumors and rumors. The fact that the missiles are being pushed out more in the news and on the on the on the um, the internet, people talking about it is that we're getting closer and closer. More is being brought to people's awareness. And don't think that you know you're just gonna sweep the missiles under the rug, you know, and 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 and, and act like they don't exist. No, the missiles exist. All right. They exist in the flesh, all right, and by the motherfucking thousands. I wanted to bring out a quick scripture. This is uh, Joel. Because, <clears throat> see, these devils think that uh, they're going to escape the missiles, okay? And uh, they're not going to escape a damn thing. This is Joel 2 and 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. Okay, they're going to be flying in formation. The, the, the thousands upon thousands upon thousands that are going to get shot. Okay, talking about 200 million. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Because they're going to go high as hell up into the atmosphere. Shot from one continent onto another. All right, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble. All right, because they're all uh, uh, rocket pro pro propelled. Okay, with uh, rocket fuel. All right, with, with loud ass uh, 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 rockets, man. Them shits are loud as hell. If you watch some videos where they uh, uh, do uh, launch tests, as a strong people set in battle array. All right, because this is how World War Three is gonna be fought. Okay. The whole climax of this war is going to be missiles. It's not just going to be some conventional war. Bombs are going to get dropped. All right. This is uh, verse verse six. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. Okay. Because when the people look at it, they're going to be all fucked up, man. Because they're going to know there's not a goddamn thing they're going to be able to do. They ain't going to be happy to see the missiles uh, staring face to face at with the missiles. Okay, all faces shall gather blackness, okay? Because there ain't going to be no life in them, man. They're going to fall pale. They're going to shit on themselves, all right? They're going to have no hope. There is no hope for their salvation because they never had hope in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, except for the elect. All right, verse 7. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall, the, the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one his ways, and they shall not break their ranks, okay? It's not going to be a damn thing. They're going to come. They're, this is going to be an army. It's going to be an army of missiles that's going to come. And they're going to be unstoppable. All right. But these devils think that they're going to be able to stop. Okay. The legion of missiles that are about to get dropped. All right. Got a real nice video for you. To the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I call hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> All right, to the house of David, to the one third men, women, and children. All right, this is for you. NATO nations decided that the alliance will acquire the capability to defend European territory and populations against missile attack. This animation illustrates how NATO's ballistic missile defense capability is designed to work in a hypothetical scenario. NATO conducts thorough planning to make the best use of all weapon systems and sensors under its command. First, the threat posed by hostile missiles is determined based on intelligence estimates of threat capabilities. Next, national critical assets and areas are identified, and a detailed defense planning process begins. Finally, Ballistic missile defense assets are assigned specific roles. Early warning is provided by satellites to sea and land-based assets deployed as part of the defense design. When a ballistic missile is launched towards the Alliance, 
The NATO commander is alerted as its heat signature is detected by an infrared satellite. That information is then transmitted to a ground station for analysis. Planning and analysis are led by NATO's Headquarters Allied Air Command in Ramstein, Germany. When the threat is confirmed, the information is sent to all appropriate command centers, sensors, and weapon systems. As the hostile missile continues its ascent, the engine concludes its burn. At that point, the infrared satellite can no longer detect it. Long-range sensors, such as the United States land-based ANTPY-2 and the Netherlands sea-based SMART-L radar, then detect and track the missile. They forward the information to the command and control system so that intercept solutions can be calculated. The NATO tracking capability also includes the U.S. Navy Aegis Combat System, featuring the AN Spy-1 radar, which is capable of tracking more than 100 objects. Together, these sensors create a robust detection and tracking capability. As tracking continues, greater accuracy is achieved. The sensors follow the missile as long as possible and share updated information with all other systems. A key feature of NATO's ballistic missile defense system is an upper layer intercept capability aimed at destroying missiles outside the atmosphere. This is provided in part by the Aegis ships. In the future, additional systems like the Terminal High Altitude Air Defense System, or THAAD, could also provide additional capability. In our hypothetical scenario, one of the threat missiles is engaged and destroyed in space. Threatening missiles that do re-enter the atmosphere become the responsibility of lower layer elements such as the Patriot system used by Germany, the Netherlands, and the United States, and the SAMPTI system used by France and Italy. All sensors continue to track threatening missiles. As the threat comes into range, lower layer shooters engage and destroy any remaining hostile missiles. In November 2011, during the live fire exercise Rapid Arrow, NATO commanders successfully tested essential elements of the interim NATO missile defense capability, using it to plan, coordinate, and carry out engagements against live ballistic missile targets. These were conducted by German Patriot batteries assisted by the U.S. Aegis destroyer, USS The Sullivans, and linked by the NATO and U.S. command and control systems. NATO participation in this exercise included several command elements. In Germany, the Headquarters Allied Air Command at Ramstein, and its subordinate command at the Combined Air Operations Center at Udom, and in Turkey, the Headquarters Allied Air Command at Izmir. During the live fire portion of the exercise, small ballistic missile targets were fired from a remote island near Santorini in the Aegean Sea. The Aegis destroyer detected these targets and reported them by U.S. satellite communications to the United States' 603rd Air Operations Center at Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany. From here, the track was forwarded to the NATO Combined Air Operations Center in Udom, Germany. The information was then sent to German Patriot units on the Greek island of Crete and to NATO's two Allied Air Command headquarters at Ramstein, Germany in Izmir, Turkey. When the German Patriot systems detected the target, they reported the track over a NATO satellite link through Verona, Italy to the NATO Command and Control node in Udom. There, the NATO system integrated the data to create a real-time air and missile defense picture, which was forwarded to NATO's Ramstein and Izmir headquarters and to the USS The Sullivans. This made all the relevant command levels aware of the incoming ballistic missile in real time. Based on this information, the Patriot system on Crete successfully engaged and destroyed the hostile missile. As this whole event These devils, man. These devils really think that they're gonna escape the judgment, man. They really think that all that scanning all that satellite transmission back and forth with the computers for one damn missile. And they're going to be able to intercept thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Okay. How? Will they even have enough missiles on the ground on all their bases to cover all the ICBMs that, that Russia itself is going to launch? All right. All right, check this out. From the top of Joel now, Joel 2. 
Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the, the, day, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Okay? So, so blow ye the trumpet in Zion. You know, we, we sound the alarm for our people, man. Because this, for for, this is for the children of Israel, first and foremost. All right? And really for the elect, because uh, the two-thirds of you niggas ain't going to get it. All right? You're not going to understand that the, 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 the day of the Lord uh, is, is nigh at hand. Okay? The kingdom is at hand. Okay? We're close to the end already. It still doesn't register. Still partying and bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Now it's getting warmer out. Now the thoughts are coming out. Now the de demons are coming out. All right? But they want to neglect, verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Okay? Okay, because when the missiles come, man, they're going to cover the sky. And when they go off, the mushroom clouds are going to cover the sky. Okay? As the morning spread upon the mountains. Okay? A great people, and they strong, there have not been ever the like, neither shall there shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So this is this is what is about to happen hasn't happened, and it will not happen again. Okay, this is how this is how Babylon, okay, the great daughter of Babylon, this is how this fucking uh nation is gonna fall down. It's gonna get it's gonna it's not just gonna fall down, it's gonna be violently burned and destroyed into dust and nothing okay verse 3 a fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth okay these are the missiles the land is as the garden of eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness okay because before the missiles hit everything is intact you know however the cities look everything is intact and ordered and then behind them a desolate wilderness that's what they leave behind after boom the, the nuclear warheads go off. And yeah, uh, and then it says, yeah, and nothing shall escape them. But these devils really think that they're going to escape the uh, the ICBMs. Okay? Because that's how, that's, how that's how proud they are. These devils are... It's a lot of trying to get the pictures. These devils think that they're going to be able to escape Okay, the ICBMs and the mushroom clouds. Or should I say escape the blast? Okay, because we already covered uh, on the other video, you know, just how powerful one of these bombs can be. Okay, you know, you got these ICBMs, they can carry one warhead, you know, one super warhead. We can cover two, war two warheads or three warheads. We could have 10 warheads, 15 warheads, okay? It could e one ICBM could have easily, uh, 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 shit, and the way they're designed now, they don't design and just have one warhead, being designed with multiple warheads, all right? So there's, <laughs> there's going to be nothing left of this place. Now, nah, these motherfuckers think that anti-missile defense system is going to save them. None shall escape them. And we await that day, man. We await that day because... That's the only way that our kingdom is going to rise is by our enemy to be completely obliterated and stripped of all his glory and power. Okay? Then put him into slavery to, to build our kingdom, the remnant, the remnant of those elites that are left. Okay? And put their generations in slavery. Alright? This is what's coming. Alright? This is the flame that's going to devour. Call Halal Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Double ordinance to the elder apostles, the GMS, to the house of David, the one-third men, women, and children. All right? Stay strong. Shalom.